الله ما أكون خ.
الله معك الأحباء بهالمساء المبارك وباليوم الخامس من مسيرتنا التحضيرية للاحتفال بعيد الصليب واليوم صلاتنا كانت بعنوان بقوة الصليب ننال الفرج on our fifth day in our journey toward the feast of the exaltation of the cross our journey by the power of the cross we obtain relief we pray tonight on your intention on behalf of your intentions and all the families that their name would be mentioned now at the cross of our Lord being put on the church on their intention and on their behalf Masri family Tanya Tuma and family Sharb Ibrahim and family Hanna and Jamil Ibrahim and family George and Muntah Estfain and family George Adib Latouf and family Mireille Lawrence and Larissa Elias Maroon and family Jokizana and family Nola Ghaloub and family Sharb al Qatrib and family Michelle Mtain and family Mirna Khouri and family Tony and Damia Makiri and family Salim Mawad and family Umayya Harb and family Nasif family Sonia Abi Rashid and family Michael and Ilmaza Abu Milhim and family Danny Dieb and family Samira Azar and family Elias Samour and family Joel Tobia and family Mimo Nassar and family Simon Wehbi and family Habib Astoun and family George and Alice Shaar and family Micheline and Tony Azzi and family Milet Faddoul and family Raymond Wehbi and family Charlotte Doro and family Eli Rukus and family Randa Bustani and family Michael Khdair and family Zaydan and Clarine and Atrib and family Asad Sarkis and family Sarkis and Saad Amjali and family Hiyam Deeb and family Maroon family Alfred Budib and family Fay Ghaloub and family Salha Norman and family Angela Moses and family and all your intentions Baruch Mor, glory be the Father and to the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Make us worthy, O Lord Jesus Christ, to always make the sign of your cross with the utmost faith and reverence, for it is the sign of your lying passion and of your victory over pain and death. Make your spirit breathe upon us and always grant us security in this world of danger so that we may reach your holy dwellings, and there we shall praise you forever and render glory to you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Usabbihu al-Rabba fa'innahu qad ta'adama bil-majd. Wal-Rabbu a'izzi wa tasbihi laqad kana liya khalasan. Hatha ilahi fa'iyahu umajjid. إله أبائي فإياه أعظم من مثلك يا رب من مثلك جليل القدس ماهب التسبيح صانع المعجزات هديت برحمتك الشعب الذي افتديته أرشدته بعزتك إلى مسكن قدسك سمعت الأمم فارتعادت حتى يعبر شعبك يا رب حتى يعبر الشعب الذي ملكته تأتي بهم فتغرسهم في جبل ميراثك في الموضع الذي أقمته لسكناك المقدس الذي هيأته يداك الرب يملك إلى دهر والأباد المجد للآب والابن والروح القدس من الآن وإلى أبد الآبد O Christ, Redeemer of mankind creator of our earth. You have been lifted up on the cross between earth and heaven, and that cross witnessed that you rose from the dead and overcame evil. Be for us, O Lord, a saviour every day, every hour, and help us to obtain relief. May your cross be our constant companion in every minute of our life, so that we avoid being led astray from our faith in you and that we may always rely upon you and love you. We praise you with the entire creation 
and we give glory to you, to your blessed Father and your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy cross of light and glory, we sing with joy for the miracles of Jesus pour forth from you. Cross of splendor, cross of wonder, clothe us with light to the heights of heaven. Lift us and give us life. You have conquered death and evil, Almighty Cross, and the captive ones praise Jesus, who set them free. You have joined both earth and heaven, O saving cross, and have reconciled and brought us to God most high. With my voice I cry to the Lord, with my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I, I pour out my complaints before him, I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit is faint, you know my way, in the path where I walk they have hidden a trap for me. Look on my right hand and see, there is no one who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me, no one cares for me. I cry to you, O Lord, I say you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Save me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison, so that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me, for your will deal bountifully with me. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace and, and goodwill toward humankind. Litukam salati kal bakhuri amamak. ورفع يديك تقديمات المساء لتوكم صلاتي كالبخور أمامك ورفع يديك تقديمات المساء إليك أصروا يا ربي أسرع إلي أصغ لصوتي حين أصرخ إلي لتوكم صلاتي كالبخور أمامك ورفع يديك تقديمات المساء إليك عيني أيها الرب السيد بك تصمت فلا تفرغ نفسي لتوكم صلاتي كالبخور أمامك ورفع يديك تك ديمات المساء يحيط بي إكليل من الصديق عندما تكافئوني لتوكم صلاتي كالبخور أمامك ورفع يديك تقديمات المساء
for the sake of those who are mired in poverty and need, we ask you by the power of your cross, the tree of salvation, to give them their daily bread and keep them safe from evil. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For the sake of those who are persecuted for the sake of the faith, especially those who suffer all kinds of violence and danger, we ask you, by the power of your cross, tree of salvation, to comfort them, to help them to stand firm in difficult times, and to let them trust your plans with faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For the sake of Lebanon, sinking into continuous and successive crises over the past two years, we ask you, Lord, by the power of your cross, the wood of salvation, to grant relief to its people who are tired and seek to settle permanently in other countries. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray all together. Holy and immortal Lord, sanctify our minds and purify our consciences, that we may praise you with purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. Amen. God, the church and her children, with your cross of light and life, by your cross, O Redeemer, prophecies have been fulfilled. With the sign of your cross, Lord, you ordain your holy priests, and they give us the mysteries through the power of your cross. Lord, your cross is a ladder leading us to heaven's heights. May your church and her children join the angel hosts on high. Hunaka <laughs> لا يمكن إلا لله وحده أن يزيلها ويعطينا الفرج لنتبع دعوة يسوع لنا هو الذي حمل خطايانا ليخلصنا ونسلمه أثقالنا وأحمالنا فيحولها بقوته الخلاصية من شدة إلى نعمة من إنجيل ربنا يسوع المسيح للقديس متى برخ مور أبون قال الرب يسوع أعترف لك يا أبتي رب السماء والأرض لأنك أخفيت هذه الأمور عن الحكماء والفهماء وأظهرتها للأطفال نعم أيها الآب لأنك هكذا ارتضيت لقد سلمني أبي كل شيء فما من أحد يعرف الإبن إلا الآب وما من أحد يعرف الآب إلا الإبن ومن يريد الإبن أن يظهره له تعالوا إلي يا جميع المتعبين والمثقلين بالأحمال وأنا أريحكم احملوا نيري عليكم وكونوا لي تلاميذ لأني وديع ومتواضع القلب فتجدوا راحة لنفوسكم أجل إن نيري لين وحملي خفيف From the Gospel according to Saint Matthew at that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls." 
for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Constantine beheld the cross shining brightly in the sky like a banner held on high it was seen throughout the land in all he professed his faith in jesus christ and his saving cross glory to the son of god who laid down his life for us he died on the cross and redeem us by his blood all oh, the peoples that were saved by his great love sing their thanks and praise to god with the cross of jesus our lord we are raised to heaven's heights from this world of sin and death to the joys of paradise the cross is the path and bridge that martyrs take on their way to life now the faithful church is signed with the saving cross of christ and sings hymns of praise as she glorifies the lord who was hung upon the cross and conquered death granting life to all the world تبارك ايها الصليب المقدس خشبه الحياه هادم الضلال وواهب العالم الخلاص انت رايه الظفر في المعركه بك صنعت الايات العجيبه إنك مبطل الزبائح ومتمم الأسرار بك يأتينا السلام ويحل فينا الفرح بك ترتفع الكنيسة ويصان وأبناؤها بك تتقدس أجسادنا وتتركى نفوسنا بك تمحى زلاتنا ويزيد برنا بك يدرك المؤمنون الكمال بك يتسلح الأحياء بك يستريح الراكدون بك نستظل في اليوم الآخر ومعك نسير إلى منزل الحياة برخمور ونرفع المجد إلى المسيح الكلمة الذي صلب عليك وإلى أبيه وروحه القدوس إلى الأباب آمين Holy are you, O oh God You who appeared among us to bring us back to the Father Holy are you, Lord God Almighty. You who by your strength have triumphed and saved us. Holy are you, O God, immortal. You who died then rose and left your cross as a witness. O Lord, you were crucified for the sake of your people. And you, you shone upon them with the cross of light. So today they honor your cross and adore it. Have mercy on them and make them worthy to call upon your blessed Father and saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Eternal Father, accept our prayers and bless us, for we have come to celebrate the exaltation of your Son's holy cross. Strengthen us so that we may wait for his second coming, standing firm and remaining faithful to the duties entrusted to us, like the wise and faithful servants. Make us worthy to remain children of light, full of faith and love and hope, waiting for the joy of our eternal meeting. We raise glory to you, to your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
jana tashafai fina ya abra wa tahannani ala mawtana wa in kana jismuki ba'idan mina سيدة لبنان فليباركنا الثالوث الأقدس الآب والابن والروح القدوم
الله معكم اخوتي الاحبة يقام قداس السنة وصلاة وضع البخور لراحة نفس المرحومة تيريز يوسف بطرس نعمان نكفر الزغاب أرمة المرحوم بطرس قصحية ساسين من حتشيت نذكر معها المرحومين زوجها بطرس قصحية ساسين ابنها اسحية والديها يوسف وكباد نعمان وأولاد بشير وزوجته بربارة وابن جو بطرس وابنته ليلى مثلا وزوجها بول وأولادها جو وكولين وحفيدها ماثيو وشقيقتها ليلى صهر حنا توفيق مرعى بيت حميها قصحية وديبي ساسين وعموم موتاها وموتك في الزغاب وحتشيت في الوطن وبلاد الانتشار وعموم الموتى والموتى المنقطعين In every land, the apostles full of zeal made disciples for the Lord. They endured the hardships faced as they traveled far and wide, preaching the good news to all. Let us praise our Lord and God, for He chose them as bright lamps to enlighten all the world with the teachings of the truth. <laughs> Very blessed evening to you all, dear brothers and sisters. As Deacon Robert read, the start of the liturgy, we offer this Mass today, this Divine Liturgy, for the repose of the soul, the one-year anniversary for our sister Therese. We ask you to join us in praying for the repose of her soul and all the faithful departed of her family. We pray for all your intentions that you carry within your hearts. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Make us worthy to celebrate this day in honour of your twelve apostles. You chose them to be lighthouses in the world and gave them the power of the Holy Spirit to guide the people and to make disciples of all nations. Through their prayers, fill us with their apostolic zeal that we may spread the good news of the gospel. And we raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. As-salamu lil-bi'a wa li-baniha. Al-majdu lillahi fil-a'ali wa ala al-ardi salam wa al-raja'u al-salim Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the Father most holy, who sent his only begotten Son, and to the beloved Son, who chose the apostles to proclaim his good news, and who fills the Holy Church with joy on their feast, and to the Holy Spirit, who poured out his divine gifts upon them. To the good one be glory and honor, on this evening and all the days of our lives and forever. Amen. O Christ our God, you built your holy church upon the blessed apostles. Make us worthy to celebrate this day, honoring them with the spiritual hymns saying, 
O holy apostles, you are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. You are the good seeds and the faithful sowers who reap the harvest and fill the barns. You are the fathers of the church and the shepherds who watch over her. Now, O Christ, our Lord, we ask you, with the fragrance of this incense, to fill our hearts with joy on this glorious day as we honor your holy apostles. Make us worthy to serve you faithfully as they did, and may we receive from you the full pardon of our sins. Grant rest to our departed, and with them we glorify and thank you, your Father and your Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Joyfully a light has dawned, spreading gladness on the earth. Christ our Saviour is the light, conquering the dark of night. He dispelled the darkness caused by sin and death with his gospel's light. Roslu yasu al athar hamu fisil il ibni yawma lakahum bin nar wal ruhi fil urduni rahu raddu lil haqqi kull al aktar bil ruhi wal nar when your gospel had been preached Lord, despite the hardships faced, He called nations back to You and still calls us to believe. Christ our Lord, we ask You, may Your Gospel's light shine forevermore. Ayyuha al Messiahu Rabbuna, iqbal salatana wa uturana, wahfad al sajidin laka bi shafaat rasulika al athar. وافض علينا الرحمة والحنان يا محب البشر مرحمة ربون لك المجد ولأبيك وروحك القدوس الآن وإلى الأباء آمين قديشة الوهوب قديشة حيلتون قديشة لغيوتو Itraham alayn Qadishat al-Uhu Qadishat Hayltun Qadishat Lohu Yutu Itraham alayn Qadishat al-Uhu Holy and immortal Lord, sanctify our minds and purify our consciences that we may praise you with purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. Amen. Christ our Lord, your apostles, preached your word and died for you. Now we see grace and mercy, come and help us through their prayers. Shout with joy from the mountains, the apostles preached good news. Offer praise to the Lord God. May he help us through their prayers. Simon Peter was anchored on the solid rock of faith and the church's foundations on this rock are firmly placed. فصل بالرسالة القديس يعقوب وبارك يا سيد المجد للسيد يعقوب الرسول وتحل مراحم الله على الكارئين والسامعين وعلى هذه الرعية 
وأبنائها إلى الآباء يا إخوتي هلم الآن أيها الأغنياء ابكوا وولولوا على الشقاء الآتي عليكم أموالكم تعفنت وثيابكم صارت مأكلا للعث ذهبكم وفضتكم قد صدئا وصداء ما سيكون شهادة عليكم ويلتهم كالنار لحومكم تلك هي الكنوز التي أدخرتموها للأيام الأخيرة وأجرة العمال الذين حصدوا حقولكم وما زلتم تحبسونها عنهم ها إنها تصرخ وصياح أولئك الحصادين بلغ أذني رب الجنود لقد عشتم على الأرض في التنعم والترف وفي يوم الذبائح أدخمتم قلوبكم لقد حكمتم على البار وقتلتموه وهو لا يقاومكم A reading from the letter of St. James with your blessing, Bono. Brothers and sisters, come now, you rich people. Weep and wail for the miseries that are coming to you. Your riches have rotted and your clothes are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have rusted and their rust will be evidence against you and it will eat your flesh like, fly, like fire. You have laid up treasure for the last days. Listen, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you have kept back by fraud, cry out, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on the earth in luxury and in pleasure. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous one who does not resist you. Praise be to God always. Ali مخلصنا المباشرة ملخ حياة نفوسنا يقدم البخو إلى مراحمك يا رب نصلي بارخ مور أبو السلام لجميعكم ومع روحك من إنجيل ربنا يسوع المسيح للقديس لوكا الذي بشر العالم بالحياة فلنصغي إلى بشارة الحياة والخلاص لنفوسنا كونوا في السكوت أيها السامع لأن الإنجيل المقدس يتلى الآن عليكم فاسمعوا ومجدوا واشكروا كلمة الله للحي بارخ مور أبون قال لوك البشير أخذ يسوع الاثني عشر وقال لهم ها نحن صاعدون إلى أورشليم وسيتم كل ما هو مكتوب في الأنبياء عن ابن الإنسان فإنه سيسلم إلى الوثنيين فيسخرون منه ويشتمونه ويبصقون عليه ويجلدونه ويقتلونه وفي اليوم الثالث يقوم ولكنهم لم يفهموا شيئا عن ذلك بل كان هذا الكلام خفيا عنهم وما كانوا يدركون ما يقال لهم. From the Gospel according to Saint Luke. Then Jesus took the twelve aside and said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked and insulted and spat upon. After they have flogged him, they will kill him, and on the third day he will rise again. 
but they understood nothing about all these things. In fact, what he said was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what was said. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, for giving us His words of life. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father Paul, my brother deacons, family of our sister Therese, and brothers and sisters in Christ who are following on via the live stream. Uh, firstly, on behalf of all the clergy here at Our Lady of Lebanon, we renew our sympathy to the family of our sister Therese Norman from Fursghab, the widow of the late Boutros Hussein from Hachid, whose one-year memorial we celebrate this evening. We continue to offer our prayers for you, her family, as you continue through this journey of loss, we pray that she may be in the joy of Christ's eternal kingdom. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In our gospel for this evening, we hear Jesus share with his disciples about the destiny that was awaiting him when he would arrive in Jerusalem. And whenever I reflect on these gospel passages where Jesus is foretelling his passion, his death, and his resurrection, to the disciples, I always think of two things. The first thing that always comes to mind is how often for us as followers of Christ, we, we want to insist on our own way. Our Lord came with his plan of salvation and he walked that plan to fulfill that plan to its perfection. But every time he would share a little bit about that plan with the disciples, it wouldn't sink in with them. They'd say, God forbid, no, this can't happen. They couldn't reconcile what God's true plan was with their expectations of what they wanted from Jesus. And I think we do that a lot, all of us, as faithful people living so many years after, is that we know that God has a plan for our lives. We know that God has a plan of salvation that has been fulfilled and continues to be fulfilled each and every day. And we know for absolute certainty that God has a plan for his church. Yet when things don't go the way that we want them to go, we can be like the disciples, a little bit shaken. No, Lord, can't go this way. We start wanting to insist on our own way, insist on our plan, and we want God to fulfill our plan rather than God to fulfill his plan. And early on this week, I was having a bit of a discussion with one of the members of our youth community here. And he reminded me of something very beautiful, which talks about, we're well, talking about this element of human freedom, that all of us have this freedom to be able to choose our path, to choose to whether to walk the plan of God or not, to choose whichever way we would want to go. And when we're in life of service of the church, each person has a responsibility. But when we start to try and encroach on the responsibilities of others, we start to, in a way, restrict their freedom. So for example, if Charlie, who helps us out a lot in the church community here, decides that he's not happy with the way that I'm preaching the homily, he can't just come and pull me off the altar. Well, he probably can. It's not a good thing to do. He can't just come and pull me off the altar and say, I'm going to do it my way because he's, in strict, he's encroaching on the freedom that was given me to exercise my vocation and my responsibility, responsibility in the church. And likewise, I couldn't go up to him and encroach on his responsibility that God has entrusted into him, his mission. I couldn't walk into his family home and say, Charlie, you're not parenting your children. I'm going to do it for you just doesn't work that way. Now, we can disagree with each other. We can have a conversation about the way that we think we should best move forward. But most 
most importantly, the way that we reconcile these differences is when we pray with and for each other to be able to fulfill that call and that vocation that God has entrusted into each and every one of us, to be able to live freely in our vocations to do the will of God. That's the first thing that sort of came to mind when I was reflecting on the gospel. The second thing is a little bit going back in time. I always, when I'd hear these gospels, I'd feel this sense of blessing because we can sometimes be a little bit hard on the disciples and say, why didn't they get it? How come they couldn't grasp that message? It's easy for us to say that living this side of the resurrection and knowing how the story unfolded. The disciples by this stage had walked with Jesus for two and a half, almost three years, and they still struggled to grasp the mission of Jesus. But when we look at it deeply, it's not the fact that they failed to grasp the mission. It's they struggled to understand the depths of God's love for humanity that was the problem. Because at the heart of the mission of Jesus was his great act of love in giving himself on the cross. Yet whenever Jesus would speak about this, the Son of Man is going to come and suffer, they would say again, no, God forbid, this can't happen. They would struggle to reconcile this, the greatness of God's love. And again for us as modern day followers of our Lord, we know how the story of the passion ends. We know that our Lord died and we also indeed know that our Lord rose from the dead and taught us that his love, God's love is stronger even than death. Yet like the disciples, we sometimes struggle to grasp how deep God's love is for each and every one of us. We all will struggle from this from time to time mainly because we have this difficulty in our current climate to see things being worthy of love, whether it be ourselves, whether it be the world around us, political leaders, religious leaders, whether it be the people that we're sharing a home with, our kids who are driving us mental during the homeschooling, we struggle to see the value in the situation of what's going on around us. But the great news is, is that regardless of how dark the situation is, the love of God is still stronger. And the love of God still lights up the darkness of that situation. So when we struggle to really grasp the, depth, the depths of God's love for us, we have a very strong weapon in our arsenal to help us come to understand more and more the depths of that love. And you guessed it, that weapon is prayer. One of the great saints of the Syriac churches, St. Isaac the Syrian, wrote in one of his homilies, the purpose of prayer is for us to receive the love of God. The purpose of prayer is for us to receive the love of God. For in prayer can be discovered all sorts of reasons for loving God. Love of God proceeds from conversing with him. This conversation of prayer comes about through stillness, and stillness comes with stripping away the self. The idea is that we pray so that we are able to receive God's love. We pray so that we can truly receive God's love and then bring it out into the world. But we can only receive that love, we can only do that when our prayer is a true prayer. And every true prayer, my dear brothers and sisters, must be one of self-denial, a prayer of your will be done in order for us to truly recognize the greatness of God's love. So I want to finish by giving you one simple, practical thing that you can try and do. Each and every night before you sleep, make the sign of the cross. Call God's presence to be with you and in you. And then proceed to give thanks to God for five things from the day that has just passed. Do not let your eyes close and do not take a moment of sleep until you've given thanks to God for five gifts that you received that day. It can be something as simple as the food that you ate, an exchange with a loved one, a difficult conversation that helped you grow, whatever it might be. Find five things every day to give thanks to God for. And I guarantee you, your prayer will be a true prayer. I guarantee you, you'll be able to start to receive the love of God. Because when you pray, with this act 
of thanksgiving, with a heart of thanksgiving, you're more likely to see the blessings that God has poured out upon you rather than focus on the negatives of what isn't in our lives. We focus on what is and what is true and what is beautiful. The church in her wisdom, especially for us in our Maronite church, has included this type of prayer in the evening prayer for all the priests, the monks, the deacons, those who pray the prayers of the faithful. We can't close our eyes without first examining and giving thanks to God for the blessings of that day. It's a great ritual to, to start to form in your life and in the lives of your children. So as we continue to journey throughout this week, I challenge you to reflect and meditate and pray with thanksgiving for the great love that God has for us. And that way we can live in a spirit of thanksgiving, always giving glory to God for the depths of his love for us and glorifying the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let's be upstanding as we profess our faith, as we say, we believe in one God. The Father, Father Almighty, <clears throat> maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all, all things, things were made, were made. For, for us men for our salvation. salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Ot <laughs> Amen. As we remember, our Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Joseph, Saint Maroon, Saint Joachim and Anne and all the saints. Remember, O oh God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers and our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom this sacrifice is offered, our sister Therese and all the faithful departed of her family and extended family. 
and all the intentions which we carry within our hearts. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. Continue with the anaphora of St. Peter. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O Father, God of peace and Lord of security, make us worthy to embrace one another with a sincere kiss in the spirit of your unending love, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, O altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to you, my brother priest in Christ, deacons of the church. Peace to you, servers of the Holy Spirit. Lord, may the light of your face shine upon us, deliver us from every evil, and blot out all our transgressions. We may raise glory and thanks to you, your Holy Son and your Holy Spirit, Barach Murabun, now and forever. Amen. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship him with humility. It is right and just. Truly, it is right and just to glorify and exalt you, O maker of all creation. With the angels we glorify you, and with voices of praise we cry out and proclaim. Holy, 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 mighty Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your great glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who has come and will come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the القدوس اللهم الآب كثير المراحل لأنك بحبك للبشر أرسلت ابنك إلى العالم فتجسد من مريم البطول لخلاصنا وبيوم هودك تمحى شودي لما بتحاية ساب اللحم بيدا وكادي شوتو وبارخ وكاديش وكسو يا بلت الميدا وكادوما سابخو المناك الخول هونو دانيتا فغرو دي دحلو فيكون وحلو فساقية 
ماتك ساو ماتي هاب الحصاية حوبة والحاية دلعوا لم علمي آمين وخانوا على الكوسو دمزقوا من حمرا من مايو بارخ وكادش ويابل تلميدا وكادوما سابشتا ومنا كل خوف هونو دانيتا دموديل دياتي كحتاتو دحلو فيكون وحلف ساقية ما تشادو ما تيهاد الحصو يضحو بي والحاية دلعو لم علمي آمين He then commanded and instructed them saying Each time you celebrate these mysteries You remember my death and resurrection until I come again We remember your death O Lord we profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O oh Lord, we remember your coming that saved us, and as we await your second coming, we offer you praise and ask you. On the day when you will judge the righteous and the sinners, do not condemn us because of our sins, but have compassion and mercy on us. Turn your face away from our sins and assist us. For this your church implores you, and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father, have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God, have mercy on us, and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living Holy Spirit descends and rests upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. Have mercy on us, O God, have mercy on us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these offerings that he may assist and pardon us. Hear us, O Lord, and in Morio, hear us, O Lord, and may your living Holy Spirit come and rest upon us and upon this offering. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie by his descent, he may make this bread the body of Christ our God. Amen. And make the mixture in this chalice the blood of Christ our God. Amen. May those who share in these mysteries be cleansed body and soul from every sin and receive eternal life. Amen. Let's be seated for our prayers of intercession. Iqbal ya Rabb ibtihalana wa tilbatana wa amnah al-amana li sha'bika wa salama li ra'iyyatika wa ahfaz ru'atana mar Francis Baba Roma wa mar Bishara Butrus Patriarchna al-Antaki wa mar Antoine Sharb al-Mutranana wa adud al-kahana wa al-shamamisa wa khadamat bi'atika al-muqaddasa li yakunu mutadarri'ina wa mutawassilina ilayka anna nas'aluka ya Rabb Ya Rabb arham أصرخ إليك يا رب من أجل كل المسؤولين المدنيين والروحيين كي لا يعيشوا حياتهم على مثال الفريسيين الذين يعتبرون أنفسهم أبرارا بل فليصنعوا مشيئتك مبتعدين عن روح التكبر ومحبة الغنى نسألك يا رب يا رب ارحم نهتف إليك يا رب مع العشار التائب المتواضع قائلين اللهم ارحمنا نحن الخطأ واجعلنا نحن جماعتك أهلا لملكوتك السماوي مع أمنا العزراء ومرمرون والقديس الأم تيريزا ديكالكوتا 
وجميع القديسين نسالك يا رب يا رب ارحم heavenly father we ask for relief for those in need and distress during this pandemic grant your wisdom and prudence to our leaders and hope to those who feel far from you we pray to you o lord lord have mercy heavenly father inspired by the example of the repentant tax collector give to us the inward desire to make true reparation for our sins though we are not perfect we judge the imperfections of others give us humility so that with the tax collector today we cry out god be merciful to me a sinner we pray to you o lord lord have mercy heavenly father pour your forgiveness on all the faithful departed especially our sister therese grant them to enjoy in your heavenly kingdom we pray to you o lord lord have mercy parakhmora bon favor remember o lord our parents brothers and sisters teachers and all the faithful departed here and everywhere who have gone to their rest especially our sister therese forgive us and forgive them of all sins and offenses through our lord god and savior jesus christ who is without sin we hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs grant to us o god to the departed and forgive the sins we have committed with or without full knowledge grant us pardon o god and forgive us and the departed so that your blessed name may be glorified in us and in all things with the name of our lord jesus christ and your living holy spirit now and forever as, as it was is now and shall be forever amen Son, the Savior, sea of love and forgiveness. O firstborn of the Father, Jesus, the beloved Savior, you are alive, O Son of God. You are alive, O crucified one. O Lord, you, you are, are the pleasing oblation who offered, offered yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offered yourself as the Lamb. Through your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. Adro ilayka alohum al-ab mu'azina fi da'afina wa mushajjiina. نقينا من كل الخطيئة واكبل منا هذا الكربان فنتف إليك بنسامة واحدة ونصلي قائلين أبانا الذي في السماوات ليتقدس اسمك ليأتي ملكوتك لتكن مشيئتك كما في السماء كذلك على الأرض أعطنا خبزنا كفاف يومنا واغفر لنا ذنوبنا وخطايانا كما نحن نغفر لمن خطئ إلينا ولا تدخلنا في التجارب لكن نجنا من الشرير لأن لك ملك وقوة ومجد إلى أبد الأبدين آمين لا تدخلنا يا رب في امتحان التجارب لأننا لا قوة لنا عليها بل نجنا من كل شر برخ مور أبون لأن لك الملكوت والقدرة والمجد ولابنك الوحيد ولروحك القدوس الان والى الابد امين peace be with you and with your spirit bow your heads before the god of mercy before his forgiving altar and before the body and blood of our savior who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the lord oh lord bless your worshipers who bow before you and implore you make them worthy of your mercy and forgive their sins for you are almighty and rich in compassion. We raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. 
let each one of us look to God with reverence and humility and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, blessed be the name of the Lord, for he is one in heaven and on earth, to him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body and and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. Brothers and sisters, we invite you at this time in your domestic churches to pray the beautiful prayer of the act of spiritual communion, uniting yourself to our Lord's most precious body and blood through this beautiful prayer. Standing, brothers and sisters, for our blessing after Holy Communion. Again and again we thank you, O Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, O compassionate and merciful one, O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Shukruna, Laka Hubuna, Laka Kalbuna, Nahna, Laka Kuluna, Yea, so Rabbana, Berik Wahfaz Ahlana, Kulla bin Yadamina, Wastaji Rabbi Sulana. أختي عائلة المرحومة تيريز بشكروا جميع الشركون بهالذبيحة الإلهية ولو كان عبر التواصل الاجتماعي من جد التعازينا طلبي من الرب تكون نفسها بالملكوت بين الأبرار والصديقين نذكر كمان على الساعة سبعة ونص مساء بتكون ساعة السجود الليلة توفي في سدني المرحوم مفيد هويش من مزيارة الدفن بيكون غدا الساعة عشرة ونص بكترائية سيدة لبنان 
توفي في سيدني المرحوم الشاعر روميو الخوري مارون عويس من بلاد الرشعين الدفن بيكون يوم السبت الساعة تسعة صباحا بكبت رأيد سيدة لبنان ومسا مبارك Brothers and sisters, just one further announcement we forgot to, I forgot to bring up in the homily. Today is the feast day of St. Joachim and Anne, so we wish all those who have the names Joachim and Anne a happy feast day, especially our beloved father Joachim in Adalak Abuna, and for all those in our parish community that have those names, we pray through the prayers of St. Joachim and Anne, you may come to accept the will of God for your life. We thank you, O oh Father, for this gift that you have given us though we're unworthy. Do not shame us because of our sins, but help and save us. Barach Mur Abon, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. As-salamu li jami'ikum. Wa ma'a ruhika. Upsut ayyuha al-Rabbu Yasu'a yaminaka wa barik sha'baka. Ihfazhum bi salibika wa kun lahum sitran wa malja'an wa kamilhum bi faydi barakatika. برخ مور أبون فنرفع معه المجد والشكر إليك وإلى أبيك المبارك وروحك القدوس الآن وإلى الأبد آمين Go in peace My beloved brothers and sisters with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord and may the blessing of the most holy trinity accompany you the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit the one God to whom be glory forever Amen نفحة العطر العزب عن أرواح موتانا ترجو منك يا رب عنهم رضوانا بالخبز الحي اكتاتوا واجتازوا دنيا الشاقة للمجد الآتي باتوا في ماث والرجاء ما أشهى موت الأبرار أسرار ما أغناها عمان ما أغلاها غفو في الأنوار ما لم تبصره عين ما لم تسمعه أذن ما لم يدرخ ذن يعطى للأبرار إن جاء الحي الرب نادى بالموت هب من جو في الأرض قاموا للحكم قاموا من في البر قد لاح غنى الشكر وارتاح في غم ر الأنوار الحي نورا فيه حي إسحاق لف أبرام مبكيا بالأكفان والبعض سر الظلام بالأول أذهان موسى قد هزته النار والله منها نادى السديكون الأبرد نحيونا لله صلوات العذراء سور لنا بارخ مور كلكم بانت في الوادي يغنيها كنز الوعد يحدو ها موج اليم والكنز ينمي أنت الفلك يا مريم يسوع الكنز الأعظم منه أشبعت المعمر حياة وانو يا أبرار في القردة الحكام أدهشتم زللتم ركن الظلمة والشار دستم غادرتم كرة تعذيب كالإبريز في الناقة غنات ذكركم تطويب أرض والسماء عط الموت راحة لك المجد بارخ مور نحيي ذكر الأنبياء والرسل والصديق والأبطال الشهادة فخر الظافرين أذكر يا رب البيعة والعذراء الوديعة والموتى بالقديس اجمعهم آمين 
cry come before you. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. May the mercy of God and peace. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let's pray. One our Father and one how Mary for the rest of the soul of our sister Therese who has departed from among us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant to her, O Lord. And let the perpetual light shine upon her. Merciful Jesus, have mercy on her. Merciful Jesus, have mercy on her. Merciful Jesus, have mercy on her. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Praise, praise the Lord, all you people, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. We are in light and by Jesus Christ, you are the source and true light and the Son of the world. Make us worthy of your shining light, and we shall be enlightened by your rejoicing door. Praise, praise the Lord, all you people, praise the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. 